Hi there, I'm Ian Go. I'm a lecturer in classics at Swansea University and as you'll see I have some cucumbers from a late summer harvest. So it's about time we did another episode of the food of Roman verse. So in Virgil's poem about farming, the Georgics, the poet halts his discussion of beekeeping in the fourth book to say that he's not going to say much about gardens. What he does have to offer is limited to a discussion of an old man he kind of remembers having seen farming a poor, small plot near Tarentum. One of the aspects which Virgil says he would otherwise be treating is something, quote, twisting through the grass, swelling in its belly. Tortusque perabam, crescerent in ventrum. This is an artful piece of misdirection on Virgil's part, because we might assume with that that he's referring to a snake. In turn, that also forms a surprise, because earlier in this poem, he'd first noted that there are no land snakes in Italy, and then a bit later, he links water snakes, which according to him do exist in the country, with the plague that destroys all living things, including the snakes which he's just described. But instead of being about a snake, the next word of the verse is cucumis, cucumber, twisting through the grass, swelling in its belly, the cucumber. That's what Virgil's not going to talk about. Q, relief. 80 plus years later, an author writing a farming manual took it upon himself to write up the missing section on gardens that Virgil left out. This author, Columella, has up till now been writing really sober prose, but he switches to poetry for this continuation of Virgil, so as to highlight his mastery of that form too. And he also refers to cucumbers. He says that there is what he calls a livid cucumber, very like a snake, which in fact can cause disease. And that looks directly back at Virgil's linguistic games. Columella also talks about a different kind of cucumber, which is the yin to the yang of the previous one. That one can cure disease. I'm peeling these cucumbers and salting them for about 20 minutes to reduce their bitterness. And following that, I, as recommended by Pliny the Elder from the same rough time period as Columella, am going to briefly stew them in a mixture of oil, vinegar and honey. Apicius, whose cookbook might date from slightly closer to Virgil's time, notes that cucumbers in broth or a wine sauce are good for the digestion. He also has a recipe for them with boiled brains, which is a bit too experimental for this kitchen. This was delicious. This episode is dedicated to a friend of mine, Hannah tulik who is growing her own cucumbers and has spoken in my department's online seminar at Swansea. You can find the recording of that and the transcript on her website on screen now. Thanks for watching.